welcome back. We're finishing off the show with a sweet treat from Owen Klusky. Owen and his gorgeous hot buns. Owen, <laughs> <laughs> the, hot, the hot, cross, hot cross buns. The hot cross buns. Owen, how did you get started? Um, so with baking and cooking, I always suggest to people is the key isn't the prep. So first and foremost, we weigh up all our ingredients. These are actually some of my favorite ingredients. So we've got some lovely brown sugar, some salt. Salt is, salt is essential in baking. Uh, salt gives what? Flavor, okay? <laughs> so it's really important. Yeah. Uh, we've got some butter and we've got some fruit um, and flour. Okay. Core ingredient. We've got some eggs, some really good buttermilk, and the eggs are inside the buttermilk. So keep the wet together and the dry separate. So it's very easy. This, uh, this is a really good idea if you have mince meat. If you're making uh, mince pies at Christmas, you know, any leftover mince meat can carry through for your hot cross buns. Oh. So really quick. So we've got raisins, sultanas, we've got some cranberries. We've soaked, we've cooked down some butter, we've soaked in butter. Now I always do this about a month, two months in advance, you know, let the flavor really, really get into the fruit, and then it just adds in. So, flour and bowl. Next, we're going to put in our brown sugar and our, oh, nice brown sugar. Them lights are nice and hot there. <laughs> um, sugar in. Yeah. Okay. Fruit. All the fruit. Sorry, you said you prepared that like a month or two in advance? Yeah, traditionally, like even with mincemeat, we would be six months ahead on mincemeat for Christmas. Oh, right. Yeah, so you, the, the longer, the longer, and especially with a tiny bit of alcohol in the mincemeat, you know, the fruit just absorbs and it just gets gathered more flavor. And let them stew. Okay. Yeah, let them oh. stew. So, all in. I won't drown you out with this mix <laughs> mixer oh, for yeah, too long. Yeah, 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 okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, straight in. Well, well, while that's drilling away there, the girls can... Actually, we were going to try to figure out if Hot Cross Buns is a song. No, apparently it's a nursery rhyme. It is a song. Rhyme. It's a nursery rhyme. I don't know. But I thought there was another kind of song as well. Hot Cross Buns. I got my hot... <laughs> I I'm probably you, mixing this up with that. something else. Yeah. I might have yeah. drunk it, but you know what? If anyone watching knows what it is, <laughs> send us in and we'll, we'll figure out what it, it is. It sounds like a Cardi B song. It like. seems... Yeah, it yeah, totally yeah. does. We were saying Nicki Minaj. We've got a band here now as well. There we go. You do the rap. I'll do the rap. I'll do the drums. We'll do the harmonies. Yeah, you guys yeah. see <laughs> So milk in, guys. Milk in. So that's buttermilk, is it? Yeah, buttermilk yeah. and eggs and eggs and inside, eggs. nice yeah. and slow. And okay. what I did there was I just I just folded in some fresh yeast, okay? Mm -hmm. So the beauty of any baking, um, a yeast baked dough is it takes time, okay? So you're gonna need time to allow us to prove. So you're talking about an hour, an hour and a half, depending on the heat in the room, okay? So if I was mixing this, I would turn it on about six minutes till it comes clean from the edge of the bowl. Mm -hmm. And just towards the end, we'd add our butter, okay? Very important, we add the fat towards the end, okay? The reason for that is? Um, well, a couple of things. So when the fresh yeast goes in, you don't want the fat coating the yeast, it will inhibit growth. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's very, very important. And okay. this is my favorite bit. Very science. Oh, yeah. I love that. Okay. The, the so, reveal. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so this has been allowed to prove. It's in about two hours here. Um, and from this, we're just going to shape our dough, okay? So I won't hit you with the flour. So a little bit of flour <laughs> oh, on the table. Oh, okay. yes. I would love to try that, but <laughs> Dana would probably kill me out of <laughs> A little bit more flour. And all we're simply doing is we're looking for about 120 grams, okay? Mm -hmm. So we'll just stretch our dough out and we're just going to cut straight down, yeah. okay? Handy utensil there. Yeah, scraper's yeah. key, yeah. So I've done this a while, so I can do my eye, okay? Look at that one there. We'll now, get three. I, I'm not a fan of raisins yeah. or sultanas. So what could you, if you just cranberries or like? Yeah, what? just cranberries. Any yeah. fruit you like. And that's the yeah. thing with bacon. It's like, let's look on the press. Let's see what we have in there. Let's mm. see what's hanging around a bit of time. You know, get it out. The only thing that puts me off the hot cross bun is the raisins, and I could like be picking them out. You know. Yeah, I'm the same. Uh, I'm not yeah. a huge fan of raisins, but for some right, for some reason, in hot cross buns, I. You, you know what, I let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Loads of butter. Oh, an exception. Yeah. Yes. Butter, yes. butter, key. Yeah. Okay, so dough. Okay, two hands like claws, and look at this. Around we go. All the way, pops out. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Little bowls. Then again, straight in. Did you make it look very easy? So obviously the hot cross lot. bun, <laughs> the cross is the sign of Jesus, like, isn't that? Yeah, yeah, it would date back to them times, yeah, the Easter times, from, and all yeah. super um, super yeah. popular this time of the year. Mm. Hot cross buns, everyone's at it. Mm. Oh, for Easter, yeah, for Easter. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really and we're just gonna rest them to one side, last two. Mm. There we go. And here we go. Again, and from this point here, you're looking for about an hour. So we right, can get our, right. there we go, into our tin. So just line them up next to yeah, each other. Yeah, just sort of touching, yeah. There we go here. A little lasso. And guess what then? Ooh, another here reveal. We go again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you're looking for them to double in size. And yeah. then I think I'm going to get a little bit of assistance here. Ooh. Am I? You're going to help here? Yes. Um, and we're just going to literally add the, 
at the cross, okay? So how long does it take for them to go that big then? So it, it's about 30 to 60 minutes, okay. depending on the, you can, you can speed them up, you can also slow them down. I could have mm. taken these, popped them in the fridge, allowed right. them to cook nice and slow, mm. and then you're not, you're not, in, you're not in the kitchen all day long. Okay. Okay, so <gasps> here we go. Ooh. Do I get so, to do? Yeah, so this is just a mixture of flour and water, and this is going to create the cross here. Oh, right, okay. Go in? <laughs> Jesus, I hope my, my home ec teacher <laughs> is uh, watching. Hi, Miss Loftus, if you're yeah. watching. <laughs> okay, This I'm... will be the, the, the hot zigzag okay. um, here. Yeah, yeah that's a cross. <laughs> you know, I'm so sorry, guys. I just got involved. <laughs> Where, where's the cross? So. Um, <laughs> This is a bit, so, bit happy with my that. modern art, okay, guys? This so is this is Zainab's <laughs> cross. <laughs> okay. It's, it's our version. It's absolutely perfect. Okay. Yeah, no, it's it's really it's really cool. Cool. Oh, it's a, no, it's a V. It's a V. I think is it's this? A, is this the autograph? This is, yes, it's Z's all over the place. It's all over the place. So, yeah. guys, and this straight to the oven, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to open the oven. Okay. Again, preheat the oven, open it up, pop it in. Okay, let's go to temperature before I burn my hands. I'm going to pop them out. Ooh. Oh, so they're, 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 they're oh, they're the they the I knew they would work out. <laughs> I knew they'd work out perfectly, guys. They're saying up special, the other ones. Yeah, these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, really easy um, recipe I've given. Makes 21. I like the number yeah. 21. It does. Okay. And I got, like, when bacon, it's very important, you know. Bacon bulk. It's a good batch, mm. 21 as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Freeze it. Oh, yeah. You know, take it out of the freezer, call into a neighbour. We're allowed to do that now again. Yes. Knock oh, door. yeah, yeah. See yeah. each other, yeah. you know, there's nothing treat, better than a gift, imagine, yeah. Can you imagine if a neighbour actually came up to you and was like, I've just baked some hot cross buns, would you like some? Oh, my God. It never happens, does it? Or does it? Would you do that? Even if you don't like sultanas. Yes. All the neighbours will be waiting for you How long do they keep her? Um, these will keep uh, fridge. I'd encourage actually uh, always a wooden box with anything bread based. Mm, okay. a bread, wooden box. Um, freezer, as long as you like. Take them out the day before and you're ahead of it. And that's when you, like, there's a labour of love in bacon, especially when using yeast and using natural, you know, ways to rise things that if you're making like a loaf of bread or you're making hot cross buns, make a couple. Okay. Mm. Don't get caught making one such a long period of time. These, honestly, call them to a neighbour. You don't get on with that neighbour, call the neighbour down. Okay. <laughs> Is it a bit like a scone, so you just half it and then put your butter or your yeah. cream on? Or... Yeah, butter yeah. butter all day long. Butter. I'll pop them out. So you, you dish up their own. Um, we have Tanya Whelan has actually sent us, uh, oh, nice. sent us a message in there. To, she texted to wish her nana, Kitty, a very happy 90th birthday today. Oh, um, birthday. Send lots of love from Tanya, Kieran, Jake, Ryland, Kyle, and all the Whelan family. So happy birthday, Kitty. 90th birthday. We'll, we'll celebrate with some hot cross buns. Yes. Have a little we'll have, taste we'll there, we'll Zainab. Oh, oh, is it me? Yeah. Is it on me to do, do the taste? The taste, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> good cutting action there. Thank you. Good, better than my... Um, good, good fruit ratio, if we do say so Very ourselves. good fruit ratio. <laughs> very, very good. Is this... Oh is this the deciding factor? Uh, guys, that is all we have time for tonight, unfortunately. But a huge thank you to our guests for joining us. And, of course, uh, to Owen for his gorgeous, delicious hot cross buns. Mm. Yeah, join Martin and Karen from 6 on Monday when they'll be catching up with podcaster Georgie Crawford. That's right. So, guys, have a great weekend. Uh, see you next time. Thanks a lot. See you next time.